Hey guys, Sherm here, and today I'm going to be testing the Lamborghini Urus in multiplayer in Forza Horizon 4. Today we are going to be in S1 class, and the tune I'm using was created by H. Lund H. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel, as well as the Purple Team Discord. The links to those will be in the description, and I hope you enjoy the video. I'm sure you've noticed by now that my mic sounds a little bit different. I bought a Corsair HS80, which apparently has the best microphone you can get on a wireless pair of headphones which is something that I really wanted to get because my previous pair of headphones, which was a wired one, constantly kept getting its wire tangled up all in my chair legs and stuff like that when I was rolling around. And it just got kind of old, so I wanted to get a wireless set. And I found that it sounds more accurate to what I actually sound like than my stage did. You see, I'm sure you guys are really used to how that microphone sounds and how I sound on everything, but it always makes my voice sound higher than it actually is. If you ever meet me in real life and you go back to those videos, you'll know that my voice in real life is lower. This is a more accurate representation of it, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. I, I think it sounds pretty good. So we're coming up to the end of our first race here. This was a free room rush, and me and Tangram were pretty much battling back and forth right toward the end here. Thankfully, I got on the road a little bit earlier, but then I hit a car, and so he was creeping up on me really quickly. I almost thought he was going to pass me before the end, but thankfully that didn't happen, and we're able to finish this race in first place. Since this is a rally tune that I'm using, all the races in this video are going to be off-road. Two of them are going to be free run rush races, and two of them are going to be cross-country races. This one right here is on Arthur's Seat Cross Country, and this one is a pretty mountainous one. So who all do we have joining us today? We have Toxie in his Camaro, Kevin in his Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR, Carrera in his Carrera, as always, Meaty Potato in his Ram Rebel, Hike Pluto in his Raptor, Skipper in his Hummer Open Top, Tangram and Tired Flame in their Lancer GSRs, Rio in his Urus as well, and Dumbnut in the Urus 19. The one that I'm testing is the older version, like the concept version, the one that's in Asphalt 8. The newer version, the 19 one, the model that actually went into production, is also in the game, but this one here is better, so that's why I decided to test it instead. If you would like to join in these races, well, we're not actually going to be recording any more Forza Horizon 4 lobbies, at least in the near future most likely, because Forza Horizon 5 is going to be coming out in like two weeks from now. So you can expect the next lobby that we record to most likely be in Forza Horizon 5. And I'm sure the multiplayer will work very similarly, so I don't think there will be all that much of a difference. So if you would like to get prepared for that, if you join the Purple Team Discord, there is a special roles channel where you can choose the Forza role, which I will tag every time I do one of these lobbies. And of course, the first time that I do a Forza Horizon 5 lobby, if anything is different, I'll be sure to give instructions on the way that I've figured out how to get people in a lobby together, but I can't imagine it would be too complicated. So at this point in the race, I'd gotten a decent lead with Tired Flame and Rio not too far behind me though. Then unfortunately, I clip like a millimeter on the side of this barn and they're able to catch up to me. Thankfully though, since they bumped me, they pretty much got me back up to my speed and so I wasn't as far behind as I would have been otherwise. We only had 25% of the race left though, so I definitely wanted to see if I could catch up. I had a lot of fun driving this car. I did one or two other videos with off-road races. I think, wait, let's see, one may have been the Gallardo, there may have been another one. Anyway, this is the first video and I guess only Forza Horizon 4 video that I've done or will do that is entirely off-road. And I had a ton of fun with it, like I said. I just really enjoy it for some reason. There's something about just throwing the car around, especially when it's a car or SUV, I guess, in this case, that I really like, like the Urus, that is just so much fun and has a very different feel to it than driving on the asphalt does. So as we come up to the finish line, Flame is able to get slightly ahead of me to take the lead, but we come in a very close second position. And now it is time for another free room rush race. You guys know if you've watched any of my my Forza videos, especially ones with off-road races in them, that I really enjoy Free Roam Rush. I know this is not necessarily a common feeling among Forza players, but there is just something about just starting at one point, having a finishing point, and just wanting to figure out the best way at a moment's notice to get between them. I find this to be extremely exhilarating, especially if you have a car that can go off-road really well. 
this is what I wanted Asphalt Extreme to be, and honestly, this is the kind of thing that I wanted to see in a racing game before I knew that it even existed in Forza games. Like, I had wanted to see something like that before I even got Forza Horizon 4 or knew much about it. So, it was extremely cool to see, and I'm definitely hoping we can still play this in Forza Horizon 5 as well. Now, one thing I am happy about is they used to have these inside the regular lobbies when you were just doing road races. So, sometimes when you would go into to a lobby and you were in like an Agar RS or something like that because it would just randomly choose say S2 class or whatever there was a point when you couldn't choose the class that you wanted to do it would just randomly do it and there would be free run rush races in your road S2 races so you'd have all these like Bugattis and whatever just kind of all going along off road and being crazy like that imagine if that was in the snow the Agaris would be finished in any case we had a pretty close battle toward the end of this one as well thankfully though I did not hit a truck this time and now for the final race in the video a race on white waterfalls cross country and I've kind of saved the best for last because I am pretty proud of this race and even though I said earlier that we won't be recording another Forza Lobby and Forza Horizon 4 most likely, I do have two more Forza Horizon 4 videos to make before Forza Horizon 5 comes out, or at least I'm going to try to. Last weekend after my stream on Saturday, we recorded a lobby in the Toyota Supra, the 1998 one, I believe. And my goal with that is to end off Forza Horizon 4 making a video about the old Supra and start Forza Horizon 5 making a video about the new one. I really hope I'm still going to be able to do that. Like, it's not going to be my very first video about Forza Horizon 5. My first video in that game is going to be first impressions, almost certainly. But I'm thinking, like, for my first true multiplayer review, which forms the basis of most of my content here on the channel. And ever since I bought the VIP pass for Forza Horizon 4, which I did not have since the beginning of the game, since I got the Deluxe instead of the Ultimate Edition, I've been accumulating a bunch of super real spins. I think I have right now like over 130 somewhere close to 140 of them that I plan to open all at once in a video I know people like these kind of unboxing videos with just opening a ton of super real spins so probably going to make that sometime soon as well that will likely be coming next after this one here not counting asphalt video releases, of course. Those will still be coming, as always, typically at least two times as often as my Forza content. So as we're coming up toward the end of this race, I'd like to give my general review about this car, SUV, whatever it is. I just call everything that has wheels a car for some reason. It drives extremely well with this tune, especially off-road, and I think it is quite powerful. You don't really hear about it a lot, but I was able to do very well in it. Overall, it's very stable. It goes straight when you want it to, and it drifts when you want it to. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for more asphalt and other games content and i will see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>